there is water on the floor. And you are busy mopping it up. Without turning the tap off. As long as the tap is open, the water will not stop flowing. Jesus told his disciples in John 16, verse 33. Be of good cheers. I have overcome the world. In the same John 19, 28, he said, It is finished. These were statements of firm promises by the Savior of the world. Peace in Christ is the only true peace. There is no other peace. Christ has overcome the world before us and has given a permanent blow to all our problems. Tell me about permanent blows. This will lead us to this message titled A Lasting Solution. Tell your neighbor, A Lasting Solution. And this will take us to the book of Mark 2. Chapter 1, verse 31. When Jesus again entered the Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. So many gathered that there was no room left, not even outside the door. And he preached the words to them. Some of them came, bringing to him a paralytic, carried by four men. Since they could not get in to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus. After digging through it, lower the mat, the paralyzed man was lying on. When Jesus saw their faith, you know, we talked about faith. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. You know, the people were expecting Jesus to say, Rise and walk. But instead, Jesus said, Go, your sins are forgiven. Usually, anything that cannot be quantified at all are least considered by worldly people. When you tell the worldly people you are blessed, they say, Where is the blessing you are talking about? When you tell the people of the world you are healed, they say, Where is the healing? They were expecting Jesus to say, rise and walk. Instead, Jesus said, your sins are forgiven. In the Kadai and Narebrekara Samba of Yenavendra, Timurvada Karavan Uruvering, Sosoligar, Unpava Manika Patade, Ni Karam the Chaliendre. Usually, anything that cannot be quantified at least considered by worldly people. The things of God cannot be quantified in terms of money and position at all. They were expecting Jesus to say, rise and walk, but Jesus went straight to the root. This is why we talk about a lasting solution. Today, people bother 
about the solution to a problem rather than its cause. Today, people bother about healing rather than about seeing the cause of sickness. Today, people bother about blessing. I want to be blessed rather than about seeing the cause of poverty. Today, people bother about breakthrough everywhere. When you go around, you see people break through rather than about the sin, the cause of disappointment. In the Kadayale and Amkana were Karium and Nevendal, and the Prechenai get Hirvana or Mudivakana Vendum, and Brother Kaga. When you bother about a problem, neglecting its cause, you cannot have a lasting solution. When you bother about solution to a problem, rather than about its cause, you cannot have a lasting solution. That is why the problem keeps recurring. The problem keeps recurring because we deal with this problem Neglecting its cause, its root, its source. When you deal with the problem, neglecting its cause, it's like dealing with the branches of a tree, neglecting its roots. Sin is the cause of all pains. What do I mean by pain? Whatever gives you discomfort. Whatever gives you discomfort, the way to move it, to move the pain, is to take away the cause. Pardon of sin, I mean forgiveness of sin, strikes the root of all pains, the root of sickness, the root of affliction, the root of just naming. When Jesus said, go, your sins are forgiven, he was dealing with the root. Tell your neighbor, forgiveness of sin strikes the root of all pains. When Jesus said, go, your sins are forgiven, he equally meant to say, go, you are healed indeed. Because sin is the disease of the soul. Sin is the disease of the soul. I can't hear you. Sin is the disease of the soul. Sin is the disease of the soul. When it is pardoned, you are healed. Anma vile kana pada kodiya viadi tan pavam. Adi tirka padum vele yele nengal vedalai parigiriru. What are you facing that is giving you discomfort? Whatever gives you discomfort, sin is the cause. This was what Jesus meant when he said, Go, your sins are forgiven. This means when you are healed of sin, you are healed indeed. Amen. For instance, a man who has a headache as a result of stress, as a result of hard work, he will continue to have a temporary relief unless he learns to observe 
quality rest. What do I mean? Those healed of the punishment of sin are likely to return to sin when the pains, when the hardness, mm -hmm. when poverty are over, they are likely to return. This is why Jesus said, Go, your sins are forgiven. Sin brings sickness and death. Satan is the author of them all. That but is, Satan is synonymous with sin. Anything Satan is capable of doing, sin is capable of. Whatever you are facing now, why can't you strike the road for a lasting solution? Redemption forever. Healing forever. Strike the road. Are you ready to strike the road? Amen. And stop complaining. Thank you.